Okay, look at this. I'm going to tell you what spots are. First off, he wants a glorious church, right? Listen to Ephesians 5, 26 and 27, that God might sanctify and cleanse his body with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself as a glorious church, not having what? Spot. Okay, we're not supposed to have spots. Well, Jude, again, let the scripture interpret itself. Jude 1, verse 11 and 12, woe to those they have gone in the way of Cain, ran greedily after the Arab Balaam, and perished in the gang, saying, of Korah, these are spots. Oh my goodness, there it is. So let's go back to Genesis, and let's look at verse 4, 8 through 10, verse 12 and 13. Here it says, Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and he slew him. And the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel, your brother? And he said, well, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? And God said, what in the world have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying unto me from the ground. A fugitive and a vagabond, you shall be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, oh, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Oh, what a wuss. He just killed his brother for heaven's sake. But you want to hear something mind-blowing? This is going to rock your world. When he said, when God said, your brother's blood is crying from the ground, English doesn't do it right. That's the wrong translation. Your brother's bloods. All every generation that will never be born is crying from the ground. Every future generation that's in the plural of your brother's bloods are crying from the ground. That's why understanding the Hebrew is so much better than these horrible English translations. Look at 1 John 3, 11 and 12. This is the message you heard from the beginning, Cain and Abel, okay? That we're supposed to love one another, not as Cain, who was of the wicked one and slew his brother. Now, here's the question. Why did he slay him? Why did Cain slay Abel? <gasps> his own works were evil and his brother's was righteous. It was a matter of evil versus good and good versus evil. He hated his brother. Now, we're going to talk about one spot which is the way of Cain. So one of the spots in the Bible is going in the way of Cain. The number one thing I want you to realize, Cain was religious. Islam is a religion, but it's evil. It's, look at James 1, 27. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this. It's to visit the fatherless and the widows and their infliction, and to keep them what? Unspotted. There it is again from the world. What else about Cain? Let's look at his character traits. He was envious. He was full of hatred, wrath, strife. He was a murderer. He was a liar in, not, in saying he didn't know where his brother was. And he was irreverent in how he answered God. And most of all, he was a man of the flesh. The way of Cain is walking in the flesh. Listen to Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Here are the works of the flesh that are made manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murder. These are all the way of Cain. Drunkenness, revelings, of the which I tell you before, as I've also told you in times past, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So spots was the definition of a spot, walking in the flesh. 